Hello, today we're going to make some homemade biscuits and we're only going to use two ingredients. We're going to use some uh, uh, self-rising flour. I've got two cups of self-rising flour. I'm going to sift that and I've got a cup and a half of heavy cream. I might not use all that. I just want to make sure I've got enough. I'll probably use between a cup and a half and a cup and a half of that. So the first thing we want to do is sift our flour into another bowl. I'm just going to scoop it out a little at a time. Sift it. And uh, you can buy sift you can buy sifters, but I just use a strainer, it works just as well. And I always have a strainer. Okay, we've got our flour sifted. I'm gonna make a little hole kind of in the middle of the flour. I'm gonna pour part of my cream in there. And you wanna, you don't wanna work this any more than you have to. There's about three fourths of a cup. I'm just gonna kind of fold the flour into the cream. You know, the less handling you do, the better, you know. You don't want to get, you want to keep it as airy and light as, as you can. You know, and that way your biscuits will rise up and have a good fluffy texture. And you want your uh, batter on biscuits are going to be kind of wet. You want it a little bit wet. It's not going to be like a bread dough. It's, more damp. Gently bring it from the sides, over it in. That might be just a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of my cream. So I'm there at about a little over a cup. we're ready there it feels pretty good so I'm going to move this aside and I've got I've got a pan already oiled with cooking spray I've got me a plastic sheet to put my dough out on I'm gonna put a little bit of flour over here on the side put, my, put this on the side put my cook uh, biscuit cutter in dip it in get my fire around now get the dough out of the pan and so just try not to work it too much Kind of bring it together and we're going to kind of pat it out or pat it down. And I use. Oh, my. There's so much beans everywhere. Oh, I try to make it about a half inch, half to three quarters. And my fingers off a little bit. Now we're gonna get our, I've got like an inch and a half 
biscuit cutter, dip that in my flour, and you don't want, when you cut, when you cut your biscuits, you want to go straight down. You don't want to give them a twist because that, 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 that keeps them from rising. Just straight down. Can we get it out of the cutter? Lay it in her pan. Now they'll rise more if you let them touch together. Uh, if you want them not to rise so much but have a crispier edge, you you know separate them about an inch or so. Try to try to watch where you cut so you don't have to so you can get as many cuts out of the dough as you can so you don't have to work it too much. Now, when you get as many as you can cut, just kind of bring it your dough back together. Try to get a few more out of it. I'm putting mine kind of close together so they'll have a nice rise. <laughs> now these other little pieces, I'm just gonna kind of hand make my biscuits. They might not be as pretty, but they'll be still be yummy tasting. Biscuits and I heard my oven, it's ready, so I'm gonna pop them in the oven. It's on, I got set on 450, and it's gonna take between 10 and 15 minutes. Usually, after about 10 minutes, I'll give her a check. And there you have your homemade biscuits, two ingredient biscuits, and it uh, ended up baking about 14 or 15 minutes. So, hope you like it.